What's up people? So a few days ago I made a video about how you can easily install a custom ROM on your Redmi Note 10 Pro. So in this video I'll so अभी तक मैंने इस पर काफ़ी सारे ROMs install करके देख चुके हैं जैसे कि Arrow OS, Pixel Experience, Lineage OS और जितने भी major OS आए हैं इस फोन के लिए मैंने सारे install करके देख चुके हैं but Uh, कुछ ऐसे मेजर प्रॉब्लम्स हैं जो मैं ओवरलुक नहीं कर सकता एंड विच मेड मी स्विच बैक टू द स्टॉक रॉम दैट इज़ एम आई यू आई एज यू कैन सी एम बैक टू एम आई यू आई एंड आई वुड बी शेयरिंग दोज इन दिस वीडियो सो इफ यू आर समवन हु इज़ कंसिडरिंग इफ यू शुड स्विच टू अ कस्टम रॉम और नॉट आई थिंक दिस वीडियो वुड बी हेल्पफुल टू यू सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज मैं इस वीडियो में से वही चीज़ें बताऊंगा जो मुझे अच्छी नहीं लगी कस्टम रॉम्स में सो यू कैन इजीली मेक योर डिसीजन सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज़ द रॉ परफॉर्मेंस एंड बाय रॉ परफॉर्मेंस आई मीन फॉर एग्जांपल द व्हेन यू स्क्रॉलिंग थ्रू द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लाइक व्हेन यू आर ओपनिंग एन ऐप एंड यू आर जस्ट स्विचिंग थ्रू एप्स आई वुड से दैट दैट इज बेटर ऑन कस्टम रॉम्स बिकॉज स्टॉक एंड्रॉयड इज ऑलवेज स्मूदर बट देन अगेन the in app performance like when you're inside an app and you're going through the features when you're clicking a photo or something i would say that that is better on the stock rom that is mi ui and uh, this also boils down to when you're playing a game or rendering a video on a video editing app the rendering times is has been better on the stock rom that is mi ui and the games have showed more frames per second uh, they've run smoother on the stock arm that is the mi ui so that is one thing that i have noticed like performance wise of course uh, stock android is better when you're just scrolling through the operating system like going through the settings and all that that is f quicker on stock android that is the custom rom but the in app raw performance like uh, clicking a picture or uh, opening a website or rendering a video or playing a game all those raw performance related things are better on the stock rom that is mi ui and then another another major thing that i feel is wrong is that jab maine ye phone liya tha to one major uh, selling point iska ye tha ki the camera the camera on this phone is really really good you just I mean, at this price point, it is just too good to believe because uh, this is I bought this phone around sixteen thousand. I think अभी ये थोड़ा महंगा बिक रहा है, but I bought this phone for around sixteen thousand and and its camera at that price point is really great. You can shoot some amazing pictures and even the even on the video side, even though this does not have optical image stabilization OIS, but the EIS that this has. Uh, it works really well you can shoot some amazing videos with this but that is the problem this uh, and uh, that is the problem like if when you're switching to uh, a custom rom you just lose all those camera features like even though we have things like anx camera trust me i have tried anx camera and i've tried taking the same shot with Uh, the stock camera on MI UI and ANX camera on a custom ROM. You would not, uh, you would not believe how much of a difference it was. ANX camera is just not, it's not even close to how good the actually stock camera on MI UI is. This camera is just un unbelievably good, and as soon as you're switching uh, to a custom ROM, you're losing that uh, great camera experience. Because uh, uh, even though ANX camera tries to be like uh, stock camera, but ऐसा है कि normal photos भी जो उसपे हम लेते हैं, वो भी वो भी उतने अच्छे नहीं होते हैं जितने आप stock camera पे लेंगे जब आप MI UI पे हैं। और वो तो एक चीज है। ऐसा है कि ANX camera पे आप सारे features भी नहीं use कर सकते। Like uh, on some on some ROMs you would just not be able to use the extra features like i would show you like this feature that this phone has uh vlog mode and uh, 
long exposure these shots when you try to like on, in this when i try to take a picture it it just works but when i was on a custom rom i think i was on lineage os when i tried to switch to one of these it just did not work it, i mean it, the app just crashed so like aise band ho ke wo home pe aa gaya so that's the thing and uh, even if agar aap aisa hai ki aapko wo cheez pasand nahi aap wo nahi use karte still i would say the normal camera experience uh, like clicking just a normal picture in daylight of the same thing is way better by the stock camera on MIUI than ANX camera on custom uh, OSs like or agar aap gcam user hain aap uh, you would not believe that even gcam behaves or takes better pictures on stock camera because i have i'll show you i have this uh, picture on my laptop which in which this one has been taken by gcam on a custom rom as you can see and you would think that this is a great photo but then again this is a photo that i took with gcam uh on the stock miui and you can see how uh this is the actual colors of the if you want to see this is the actual color of the bed but this is not this is just washed out all the colors are just washed out you can see over here with the whole bed this is just washed out and this is the actual colors this is and you uh, this is this, these are the same these are the same g cams this one i have taken on a custom rom and this one i have taken uh, on stock rom miui so you can see there's a huge difference even when you're using the same camera uh, the, even when you're using g cam so uh, these are some of the problems and uh, another problem that i've seen is fast charging when you're now this is something that you might already know when you're on a custom rom as i ki is phone mein fast charging hai 30 watt i think so it just is not when you're on a custom rom it just not, does not charge that fast i think uh, it charges at 10 watts or 15 watts or something it just does not charge at 30 watts but it does on uh, uh, the stock miui of course so those are some of the problems and i think these problems are uh, major enough not to make you switch to a custom rom because if uh, like mere liye sabse zarurat sabse zaruri cheez thi camera and camera is phone ki uh, it's uh, this phone has its camera as its selling point so if i'm losing the camera quality itself then it's a i think it's a big deal so that was one of the reasons that i think uh, switching to a custom rom is just not the best option yet i think in future it will get better uh, when um, but but again uh, developers are doing a great job you can the best part about uh, buying these phones is just you can find it out for yourself you can just easily switch to a rom and uh, see if it works for you and then you can come back to stock rom when you want and you can see if the uh sacrifices that you're making on a custom rom are like um, are bear in bearable enough for you to uh, be on that because obviously everyone enjoys being on a uh, custom rom stock android everyone enjoys being on stock android so you can find out for yourself but in this video as you can uh, understand i just to uh, i just uh, showed you my opinion i just uh, told you what i think and why i think is not a good time right now just yet to switch to a custom rom and i think this would it can definitely change in the future but that uh, time will tell so that was it about uh, for this video thank you and i'll catch you guys in the next one